everyone, welcome back. My name is Ashley and this is Well Trying, the channel where I well try for well-being. Today I wanted to make a video about trying to not spend any money and to shop from my own wardrobe. Lately I've been trying to not go on social media. I don't really use Instagram and I find myself wanting that feeling of scrolling so I'm on Pinterest a lot. And I like Pinterest because it's a great place for like inspiration and things like that. And I have seen a couple of outfits that have kind of triggered that wanting to purchase feeling that we all get. But I thought maybe I could try to kind of recreate some of those outfits in my own home with the clothes I have already before trying to buy new things. And maybe that will inspire you to kind of do the same thing. These outfits aren't like soft natural specific. Uh, we're just gonna see how they look on my particular bone structure and see if they work. And yeah, I just thought it would be a fun and little nice Sunday afternoon thing to do. So let's get started. So this is outfit one. It's just a kind of crop sweater from H&M. It's sort of the same color as the one in the Pinterest board. And then some jeans from Zara that are light washed. These ones are a little bit wide leg. They're high-waisted, which is really nice. And they're just uh, kind of the same wash, not the same fit, but the same wash. And then I paired it with these loafers. I also have this bag, which is not a YSL bag, but it is still cute. It's the same kind of shape. Truthfully, the YSL bag is really beautiful, obviously, but don't have that. <laughs> but I think it gives the same overall impression. I think on my body type, this look is cute. Um, it's not as kind of chic looking as it is maybe on the Pinterest board, but just because this is cropped and these are wide legs, so it's more of like a casual outfit. Um, the sweater that they had was longer. Uh, unfortunately, I have to wear cropped sweaters because I'm short-waisted, so <laughs> this is the recreation for the soft naturals out there. This is the look. Maybe also, where are my sunglasses? I would also wear these with these sunglasses, just for a nice casual, outdoor kind of spring summer look and i think i got pretty close maybe not exactly there but i feel pretty happy with this and i think i would wear this out and feel really nice in it so that's the first look so this is look two so i've got high-waisted levi's the rib cage cut ones and then a turtleneck which I think is Sunday's best, Sunday best or whatever. So my issue with this outfit is that I really don't personally love how turtlenecks look on me. I think that the width area is really really put on display when you wear really tight clothes. I think that the pants being wide leg pants I think that they can kind of offset my shoulders, which stick out way further than my hips do. And the wide width of them kind of balance it out as a, you know, as a silhouette. I like this. I don't know if I feel comfortable in it. Um, I think it's cute. Like, I think it's very simple. I'm glad that I had like a jean style that was uh, similar to the one in the picture. I would use this purse with it. Um, but the thing I would do is put it crossbody because I find anytime I wear a crossbody purse, it kind of creates like a little bit of, almost like it directs the eye like kind of down the way that like an open neck top would. I don't know if that makes sense, but I feel like it, and it cinches here. So it kind of can give more of the appearance of being like cut. Does that make sense? <laughs> I don't love how boxy it looks, but I don't think it's, you know, terrible. It's just not my first go-to kind of look, but I think overall it's it's pretty close to what the Pinterest board was. And it's comfortable. It's not like a material that's really, really like thick and like scoops you in. It's more of like a light rib. And uh, I do like that it kind of shows off my shoulders a little bit. I think that that's nice. I do like a mock neck as well. This is actually like fully a turtleneck, but I think that's going too far, especially because I'm not sure about black right now. A lot of people have said black doesn't suit me. A lot of people have said that it does suit me. So still in the middle on that. But this is 
the second outfit. I don't have the uh, <laughs> the whole setup with like the camera and the book, um, but you know, I think you get the basic idea. <laughs> So this is the first look. I'm going to show you without the coat first. The shoes are very squeaky because I haven't worn them yet, but they are just Reeboks. My Converse are at work, but... Unfortunately, I don't have a coat that is the same color gray as the one in the photo or the same construction. This one's just like a cheap Zara one, but I wanted to try it anyway just to see how it works. So. This is how it looks. Like I said, I probably wouldn't wear this coat with it um, just because this coat isn't really like a more, like I'd go darker with it, I think. My jeans are like a light gray wash and they're the 501 Levi's. Levi's are weird for me. I don't know if they're weird for you, but let's take a look. On camera, they look okay, but the way that they cut across my particular body type really stresses me out. I wish that they were like, up here more, just a little bit more high-waisted and a little bit more drawn in. I used to have these amazing jeans from Urban Outfitters that were like the perfect cut and they just don't make them anymore because it's, I, I don't know, not trying to wear high-waisted jeans, but I'm not wearing low-waisted jeans, that's for damn sure. I like this outfit. I like um, just these colors together. I would open this though, just to give, you know, that loose kind of neckline that us stuff naturals really need. Just makes the outfit a little more casual. And then be on my way. Where would I be going in this outfit? Maybe I'd be going to buy um, a nice perfume on credit. <laughs> Maybe I would be uh, going to have brunch at a place that it's hard to get reservations for. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> These shoes are so funny. They're so squeaky. Uh, I think overall, you know, it's not exactly perfect, but I think that it's kind of close. I like it. I never have worn these things together before, so as spring comes, I'll be able to bust this outfit out uh, just really quickly when I need to, you know, just throw whatever on. And I think even without the jacket, it still looks okay. <laughs> just posing. Let's see what's next. Okay, so next up I have this outfit. This is my kind of attempt at like a long silk dress like worn very casually with like a leather jacket. Maybe the shoes aren't correct, but uh, I could probably choose a different style shoe, but I really like how this looks. I might try to wear it. I don't know if I can, it's a little tricky. You know what? Maybe I could try it with a cardigan. Cardigan is more of a warm tone, which I've been trying to wear lately. Is it giving French girl? Is it giving Parisian vibe? Look, I would wear this on a date night, probably. The running shoes kind of casual up the look a little bit, which I think is good. I wonder what purse I would wear. Maybe I'd even bring a tote. Maybe this is a tote look. Woo! I'm happy. I think it's very cute. I don't know. Maybe you're going to disagree with me, but I think it's very, uh, oh, that's definitely not done up properly. Or is it? I think it's very, you know, soft, natural. It's got like the femininity to it. It's got like the neckline showing. It's got the kind of bunching around here. I like this look. All right. All right, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video inspired you to take a peek in your own closet and use what you have and uh, just get creative with it. If it fails, it fails. <laughs> Life is about just trying things and seeing if they work and if they don't, then who cares, you know? And that's it. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe if you wanna see more chaotic, kibby-related, soft, natural, try-ons, content, uh, health and well-being, and all that other good stuff. 
Thank you for joining me on this nice little Sunday afternoon. I'm off to the gym. I hope that you have a wonderful day and I'll see you again soon. Take care.